Tioin Woodruff. Tioin Woodruff is a writer and game designer who has worked primarily on role playing games, TV writing and interviewing, and trading card games. Freelancer. Tioin Woodruff was introduced to role playing games at an early age, playing her first game of Dungeons and Dragons when she was 11, according to Woodruff. In an interview with Internet podcast called Midnight Express, Woodruff said, that after college, she met some employees of TSR while attending a games convention in 1992, which led to the idea of a career as a freelance fantasy writer. Subsequently, she sent some material to TSR and one of her monster designs appeared in the AD and the Adventure Assault. Woodruff also wrote for West End Games, including the Galicious City book from Masterbook, Bloodshadows, and Indiana Jones, and the Tomb of the Templars, for the Indiana Jones RPG. White Wolf and WotC Woodruff said in an internet podcast interview that she was hired by White Wolf in 1993 as their first female game designer. While there, she wrote World of Darkness, Gypsies and contributed to White Wolf's Vampire, The Masquerade Werewolf, The Apocalypse Mage, The Ascension and Wraith, The Oblivion Lines. In 1995, she moved to Seattle to join the staff of Wizards of the Coast Watch Sea and claims to have been their first female game designer. Woodruff was part of the design team on a multitude of projects including Battletech, Netrunner, Magic, The Gathering 7th Edition, Dual Masters, Dreamblade, and Pokemon Trading Card Game. After Watch C bought TSR in 1997, she also contributed to several D&D projects, including Masters of the Wild. Woodruff was on the design team with Wolfgang Bohr and Mike Selinker for a role-playing game based on Magic. The Gathering but Wizards canceled this project in 1996. She was also on the design team for Betrayal at House on the Hill. Lone Shark In 2005, she left Watsi to form Lone Shark Games. Lone Shark also specialized in creating giant puzzles at events like Jenkin, Microsoft's annual three-day employee picnic, and other industry events such as the launch party for Uncharted, Drake's Fortune. While working at Lone Shark, Woodruff continued to freelance, interviewing participants and producers of various reality shows such The Amazing Race and Survivor, then publishing articles for now-defunct reality news online. Female Game Designer Woodruff's presence in the male-dominated games industry was mentioned by a columnist Nicol Broder in the local news section of the Seattle Times, who wrote Woodruff brings a female sensibility. In the article, Woodruff commented that women do play games. They are just not games that men count. Reception to her works Galicious City Book in the March 1995 edition of Dragon issue 215, Rick Swan reviewed Woodruff's book Galicious City Book written for West End Games Bloodshadows RPG and commented that most of it's interesting. But there is nothing noteworthy. He gave the book an average rating of 3 out of 6, saying, The lack of an adventure and the awkward narrative 